What's up guys and welcome to this video. This is the culmination hunt of four amazing days. We went 200 on Monday, we went 128 on Tuesday, went 200 on Wednesday, and this is now Thursday, and we're about to kill, well, I guess you have to find out. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. You know what to do. <laughs> so why am I wearing this prairie stubble hoodie with a goose decoy on it? More on that later. I want to drop just a real quick word on the goose chairs that we use. These go way back. Now in 1994, I started outfitting and I realized very, very quickly there had to be another way. Now back then we used a lot of willow blinds, now called A-frames or uprights or bush blinds. There were so many blinds on the landscape that the birds did actually shy away from them a little bit. I realized by 1995, in my second year, and the year I built the lodge, there had to be a better way for me and my clients to kill birds. So I came up with a goose chair. Back then though, we had a big decoy on it. We do find the snow geese a little bit more reluctant to come into that big decoy. So now we lay in the goose chairs, in the decoys, either wearing white suits or some of our snows decoy wear. This episode, we'll be testing in a little bit more detail the prairie stubble hoodies with the snows decoy on it. Nice shot. I'm moving those clothes. So it's so important to make adjustments and changes to your decoy rig, or in this case, what we're about to do is move some of the clone decoys. Jay and I realized very quickly that, that the approach the birds were taking with the wind, were just lining the birds up just a little bit wrong for us. So we went out to make a quick change. I always urge clients to stay put, either stay in the blind, stay in the lay down, stay in the goose chair, whatever it is, stay there, let us get out and do the work. You see what happens next here, I get stuck out making a change that I rarely advocate hunkering down in the decoys. You can get away with it if you're wearing the right gear in a decoy spread full of snow geese. So in this case, me and Jay hunkered down, called the birds, the guys shot well, they managed to get it done. It's no fun knowing that your gun's laying there doing absolutely nothing in the blind or in the chair and you're caught laying in the middle of the decoys. <laughs> One quick note for the anti-gun people in this country. I was hoping for that Benelli to come alive and shoot some of those snow geese, but it did nothing. Trust me, it just sat there and did absolutely nothing. Food for thought. <laughs> More coming. There is no better feeling than when the first few flights start doing it. I mentioned in previous videos, me and the guides are always stressed, we're always nervous until those first few flights, A, come back, and B, start doing it. You'll often hear us say, reload, reload, load up, be quick. It's so important to get duck into a routine. The first thing you do, load your gun. The second thing you do is get more ammo ready and get your hunting station cleaned up. Stay clean, stay organized, and you'll be way more successful out there. The biggest mistake most rookie guides and novice hunters make is, okay, go, go, is go, go, not go. being patient with these snow geese. They are doing it. Nice. I mean, these things will hover, they'll hang, and, and then they'll slowly make their approach. And then you think you got them in range, and they're still 35 or 40 yards. You think, oh, that's perfect. It's a little too far, especially on those windy days. They can get out of there in a big hurry. That back group. Let that back group come. Ready, ready, ready. OK, kill them, go. As you hear Jay say, let him come, let him come. You'll hear me say, hold on guys, hold on, or wait, wait, just let him come. I mean, that's why we shoot the IC chokes, more on that later, but also, you have plenty of time to wait for him and shoot down range, be patient. Oh well, as Meatloaf would say, two out of three ain't bad. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, because there's birds downwind, don't shoot. Quite often there'll be cripples, you know, in the hole or somewhere in the rig. If there's a lot of action going on, you're better off sometimes just running up, grabbing it, twisting its neck, getting back into your chair. Those birds, when they hear the popping of that gun, even if they're six, seven, eight hundred yards off, remember, the wind's at your back, the sound travels, it puts them off. Quiet is better. They're shot. Okay, go, 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 go! Oh yeah. 
It is in jet. My god, are you kidding me? I only hit one there. That was bad. Yes, I only hit one and they were in my face. Very bad. It happened. It happened. That block was better for you. Except for I missed two of the three shots. I don't know how. Man, they're coming out nice tonight. A dozen there and more on the deck. You'll almost invariably hear oh. us say, look low, watch your toes, guys. Watch your watch toes. Three above. Watch your toes. Look low, look low. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Okay, go, 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 go. Why do we say that? Well, what happens is you're laying there, you're laying back, and you can see your toes, obviously. And if you're looking straight up in the sky, or you're looking at a 45 or 80 degree angle, the birds we're targeting are those birds that are low, 10, 15 yards off the ground, hopefully five yards of the, off the ground, and just dragging it in. When we say watch your toes, those are the ones me and the guides are looking at, and I mean, those are the ones when we say take them, you just look above your toes, and that's where they are. Look low, look low, get ready, get ready, get ready. Okay, go, 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 go. There's some setting up right there. Right on the right. Oh yeah, right here. Oh yeah, they're dipping, they're dipping. Yeah, 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 get ready, here they come. This is the last hunt of 2023. It's been nothing short of spectacular. We've had just four incredible days here from May 1st to 4th. And, and uh, we went 200, 128. We thought we were at 192. We recounted we were at 200. That was for six guns. And then I don't know what we're at now, but we're crushing them. And there's just three of us now. Uh, me, two clients, and then Jason's guiding. Gotta go, gotta go. Let's come down. That was epic, dude. Unbelievable. That was good, eh? that was